Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers as we get a view of our elevator in action and us riding down on one of our vehicles there. The rebuilt rover after it suffered a horrible, horrible fate in this very elevator. <sighs> but today, what we're going to do is organize some of our inventory because it currently is not and we have basically no inventory on this station we have just a very small amount of it so let's pop down to our rover here unpark and let's head on driving off down to the inventory area because as of now i'm really just using the large uh storage on the uh, the copash and that's it like i don't have any other large cargo containers i have a few small cargo containers scattered around i have one in each uh hangar bay i have one in the medical room you know that kind of stuff however i don't have mass storage and that is what we're going to deal with now and you may have noticed I'm actually able to drive all the way down here because I added in an additional gravity generator, as you can see right at the end here, and have not turned off that show area on the dr base drill. Da, da, da. Drill system base. And turn off the show area, please. But as we come up to this, we can go right or left doesn't really matter it's all the same we'll go right here as it'll get us back to that same room we have a room all set up here nice and open with a pathway through it We've got a couple cargo containers over there uh, just just to be the first bits but this will be the storage room and should have just enough room to drive the rover around once everything's built up. But for now, I'll just park its butt right here. Stay, rover. Good rover. You'll be where I can easily hop into you to uh, charge up my suit as I'm working on this stuff. So, uh, a little dark down here. Probably want to throw on a, a light eventually. But, what we're going to do is we're going to use Izzy's script. So, inventory sorting, program, edit data, Izzy's inventory manager. And you can go into here and do a whole bunch of stuff. Now, if you want to, you can just essentially let it do its thing and just, just do it. Just a, a let the entire... Uh, script run all of the storage on your base and manage it, but we might want to uh, manually manage some stuff so let's uh, first pause it what we have let's grab out a few steel plates and interior plates so that we can build some things and let's get to building because we can plop down some large containers and We'll just plop them all down here, get this place filled up. Each little area has four cargo containers that it's capable of holding. And each area is going to be for a different thing. Uh, these corner ones I won't build just yet. So I'll have, you know, four for components, four for ores, four for ingots that are being processed and such and yeah let the base auto build those so large cargo container five yep it has not named these yet so if i go over to this one specifically you can see that it has large cargo container but then components and the percentage and percentage being how full it is but if i want to i can change what's in here based on what i um give it for the names uh to make this easier i don't want large cargo container d something like all these numbers as well because it just gets too annoying so we're going to just 
abbreviate this down to, I think, El Cargo? That's <laughs> it. El Cargo. No, that's wrong. Uh, it could just be Large Cargo. Large Cargo dash components. That works. And that way you can actually see what it is here. And this part of the script, so if I if I leave that, yeah, it automatically put the percentage back there. And it's lower percentage now because it's used up some of these components to build these uh, 12 large cargo containers that I just placed into the world. So if I wanted to, I can make this not components. If I chose and said, say, ingots, I believe that would be one of the things. This should move things around, if I'm not mistaken. I might need to make... Ah, uh, see, like this one's ores, ingots. I might need to set up some other ones to be the for com components as well. But uh, hey, look at that. You can see we've got a bunch of ingots in here and the components are being moved out as that's 2793 this should lower in a moment as components are being shunted to another location another thing we can do is we can change the priority of which containers will be used first so if i do a square bracket and i hit p1 this is priority one ingots Ingots always go here, and you see instantly it's filling up 93.8%. And if I try to search in the inventory just anywhere else in the base, ingots, you can see that essentially it doesn't the, it doesn't exist. These are the the ingots here are like overflow from other locations and from like my uh, currently my refineries are working on a bunch of iron, so it's overflow from the what's being made at the refineries everything will go into here as soon as possible for ingots so that's great so we know this will fill up first and we can actually see ex exactly how much ingots we have in storage with our 18 million iron which we need to uh lay out a bunch of the armor in the base such to fill out the elevator and to basically seal the base the 18 million iron will be used up but hey we got some great stuff here and now we just need to go through and we can copy this cargo ingots p1 we can go down this line here will be ingot storage so we can go to this one we can go ingots p2 so this will be the second one that ingots get placed into once this bad boy is full and then continuing along uh, oh, oh, over here p3 and uh, p4 grabbing this section again here large cargo okay so ingots are all there now we could do uh, I think components over here will do ores in the center. Because why not? It's not like it really matters in terms of, uh, uh, like, flow of stuff in the base. As you see, instantly, all the ores are there. So we can see, wow, we have actually a lot of scrap metal. And three million ice. And yes, I went uh, searching off camera and got myself a whole bunch more uranium ore. So we'll be getting a bunch of that. Like, it's not like in, like, the real world, if you had a factory and we were refining stuff, you would need your ores stored at the beginning, and then they would go through the factory, and the ingots would pump out at the end, and then the ingots would go into the beginning of the component factory. Thankfully, space engineers, things get magically whisked through all of the tubes. So if I, like, come down here with the spectator camera, we've got our layout of tubes underneath the floor here and I should be uh, right beyond this wall right there so if we look down here my refineries are all in their own little zone here all 
separated off them going in and in and then once they're inside this zone there's no connections to the outside world until they've refined and then they spit out and then around the outside there is how these containers are connecting so as long as there's connections we'll be fine so we can do, do grab this this is ores p1 and now we can just head down here and do the exact same thing okay, okay ores priority two and to ores priority three and ores priority four and then just grab large cargo again and head on over to here and we can do components same thing large cargo component i believe it's components yes p1 and if we look in a moment every single component bam instantaneously are all in this container and we only have 8.5 percent filled even though we have all of these components now of course the build and repairs for example if i place this large cargo down here they will still pull from there even though it's priority to put the uh inventory in there they're still getting their components they need in order to build so it's not like this is how can i say overbearing the amount of uh, resources it's not like it's it's competing with the build and repairs and other mods and such it was still able to build the the container quite easily and quite quickly so wonderful but again we can come down here and do the exact same thing with the components of different... We don't need to copy the percentages. The components of different priorities. Three, and last one here, priority four. Large cargo, and we see all beautiful. All the ores ones are named here. All the components ones are there. Uh, this one we just named, so it has not been properly sorted yet. If we go out and back in and then search for large cargo, yeah, now it's properly sorted. So components, one, two, three, four. Then ingots, one, two, three, four. Ores, one, two, three, four. And we can see their percentages with some extra containers, which is uh, these six. One, two, three, four. And then what will be number six here. Now, I think, at the moment, we'll just have those as overflow, because, I mean, we just added so much storage to the base here. This is a lot of ingots, but this is like all of the mining I've done so far for the entire series, and I'm just getting one cargo container full, which really isn't that much yet. Ah. <sighs> I might reorganize which ones is which. Thinking I might put ores in this, I put ingots in the center because ingots will be the largest storage in the end because I'll just want to have the largest bulk of ingots just waiting around to be processed into whatever I need with the assemblers. Ah, well, whatever. They can always change it around. These guys here, I'm just going to name the large cargo unsorted right now because that's what they are i'm not going to sort anything particular into them and they will just be massive buffer storage in case my ingots or ores or something get overwhelmed with the amount of things that i have uh, put onto them well wasn't that efficient like 15 minutes and bam we have got some storage. Of course, you know, I spent some time prepping this whole room and getting everything all nicely tubed up. But whew. now, the next thing to do is there are some options with this inventory sorting mod 
that you can have some like quotas is always no matter what have on hand this many steel plates this many interior plates sort of thing so that you can just be ready at any time and snap your fingers and build something because you just have everything ready I kind of I kind of do and kind of don't need that because if I if I want to I can just place something down and build and repair will tell the assemblers over there to build the item where I don't need to have things in stock however if I go and start doing some acquisition contracts and I just have a thousand of everything in stock then it'd be super easy for me to just come back to base go like write down in my little notebook or bring up my active contracts when I get back to base and note what I need and then just transfer those to my shuttle ship and then just oh there we go I can fly back and the base will automatically replenish what I have so let's get that set up as well if I'm not mistaken there should be a little script that you can put LCDs on these little LCD corner dun, 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 dun. And also now I can just go into inventory here and just search compo components and I'll get all my components and I know that I'll have access to all my stuff. So construction components, what I should be able to do, you want the little white thing at the bottom there for this to be the right orientation. Come on. There you go. Is there is a little script to add essentially a fill progress bar to that so I'm gonna I'll go off camera here I'll put up these uh, LCDs on every container and uh, we'll uh, come back and show setting up that and uh, there we go cargo bars has been put into one of the scripts here so what you need to do for cargo bar is have this exclamation mark cargo bar as one of the keywords and the script is uh, smart enough of course this script edit uh, browse for scripts cargo is by Izzy because Izzy is amazing so it's just one of his subscribe to every single one of his scripts because they're all amazing but this one will make it so all it does is finds the nearest cargo container and then put a little bar showing off how much is in that cargo container so you can see here I have it for these ones already large cargo components priority four zero zero let's see look look where they actually has it so large cargo components priority one 8.4 percent you can see the color is green because we have plenty of room and you can see the bars start to fill and this is named corner LCD dash exclamation mark cargo bar and so I've already put those on all of these we can go and slap them onto our these ones like that and you can see it pops up almost instantaneously cargo bar there you go ingots zero percent of course because this is priority three there is nothing in there and this one here cargo bar and you can see as it uh, fills up, 96.9% and gets priority one. It turns like an orangey red, 97% as it is currently filling due to me actively refining stuff for now. We have the Kopesh, we have all of the speed ones working through our iron ore, the yield ones working through some awesomeness. And you can see also the script, I believe it automatically rearranges stuff like yep I did not move that there my mouse cursor will be away it automatically puts the platinum then silver then gold you can uh, go into this script here inventory sorting and you can uh, do you can rearrange the order in which it does stuff so it'll automatically get rid of 
stone, then iron, then nickel, then cobalt, then silicon, and da 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 da, going down. So, platinum, hmm, for some reason, is being processed first. Hmm, strange. Oh well. But, we've got automatic sor um, we got all the sorting done. We have different LCD panels we can do. So, exclamation mark main. So, let's see what that looks like. I am main. Ooh, here we go. Izzy's inventory manager. And it's starting to scroll through the there. Type balancing is off. It's giving me, I've got four ores, four ingots, four set for components, one for tool, one for ammo, one for bottles. I do not know where those are. Those must be somewhere out there. Small container, tools, ammo bottles, 4%. Wherever that small container is. Da, 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 right here. It's somewhere in the base, and I probably should... Oh, that's what I should totally make one of these corner things, is tools, ammo, bottles. Yeah! Let's go and select that. Tools, ammo, bottles. And let's go to this guy right here. And he's unsorted. Now, your tools, ammo, bottles. And we'll get rid of that small container. And we'll just go... Small cargo. Unsorted. And now, tools, ammo, and bottles. Excellent. Yeah. Now, if I'm not mistaken, for that inventory thing, we can have multiple LCDs. If I'm just looking through its stuff here. Uh, there's also LCDs for auto crafting. I want to look at that in a moment as well. There's a refinery handling. It can balance ice and O2H2 generators. It can ice fill level and percent in order to be able to fill bottles. Nice. So it won't fill the O2H2s all the way. So you can actually still put your bottles into them at any time in order to fill up your bottles. God, it's just so convenient. But we've got some other things. Inventory warnings, performance. So let's take a look at inventory. And we'll put that right on this screen here. Ooh. Ah, put an item or type in the... Okay, what did that say? Put an item or type in the custom data. Examples, component, ingot, steel plate, interior plate. Optionally, add a maximum type as a second parameter. Say ingot, a number. And last, these modifiers of whether or not you want no scroll and such. Okay. Oh. Oh, geez, no power. <laughs> I should uh, power up. It's because I turned off the frickin' HUD warnings because I didn't want the no fuel when I sat in any of my seats in the base. Ugh. And then I get that. I, I slowly start to die. <laughs> oh, come on, little rover. Don't flip on me. Get around this corner. There you go. I want to turn you around. And power is full. All right, back to work here. So, for custom data, let's go... Let's just put in ingot. Because I don't know what this does. Ingot. This is me experimenting and learning. Oh, items containing ingot. Look at that. And it's all base uh, at 100,000. Ooh, okay. So if I went in there, and I went custom data, and I went ingot 1 million, it'll reset that to a million. Ooh. Uh, let me just remove that for a moment so I get that help screen back. And let's try something else. So I can put it individual things as well. So I could say... Could I say in there, for example, ingot for a hundred thousand, but 
iron for one million? Oh, items containing iron. So it's supposed to be, that's probably iron ingots and iron ore. Oh, okay. Cool. So totally, when I get the, eventually, I want to build a, let's just go component. Oh, cool. We can see every single component we have. Eventually, I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to build it in this area. I don't know if I need to build it in this area. Or I could add it on to, um, into the assembler room. I could add LCDs with lists of every single ingot and component that we have available, similar to how I did it up here in the reactor control room, where I have them like listed out with their titles above them. I could say ingot, component, or, and I could have the different things listed there and have a control seat in front of it and have multiple of them and it would look all cool. And I could have it all down here in assembly room with say these side um well with these control seats i could pull these back a little bit and or keep those pull this main one back here and then put all six up there and just have this entire wall of awesome text oh i think that's what we should totally do let's just paint those red so the uh Build and repairs, I'll thankfully take them away. <laughs> so nice of them. Ah, vehicles. Why did I turn you this way? I need to drive you out of here now. <laughs> Off we go to assembly room. Now that we have all of our things working and set up here. Up we drive. And there's a small portion here where there's actually two times gravity. Where the base, right here, where both the lower gravity and the upper gravity overlap, but eh, whatever. It means that I have gravity now in this room, and that makes me happy. Uh, we need to pull you back and make you into steel plate instead. Come on. Come on, suck that thing back. Thank you. We get our control seeds. I need that LCD screen back. Boom. We'll go control seat on top of there. And we can set up normal LCDs or transparent LCDs. Oh, I'm not sure. Probably transparent LCDs. That would probably be best. And now LCDs... Transparent ones, at least, are annoying as shit, because I never know which way they are oriented until I place them, and they're built. I'm like, is this the right way up? I don't know. Is it? I can't tell. No, it's sideways. <laughs> Damn. Uh, okay. Is there a way to tell? I don't know. Is that the right way up? Yes, it is. Okay. No. Oh, God damn it. Ah, LCDs, you are dumb. But with this, then I could say I come up to it and I could go. LCD. Da, da, da. I need to go back to that inventory. Inventory sorting. I need to get the, uh. Oh, whatever it was. The thing to copy paste that inventory. Excellent. So the one in here will be transparent LCD dot that main because it's going to be the center one. Oh my god, this one's on its side. I hate transparent LCDs for that. Okay. That rotate. That should be straight. Please be straight. Thank you. Oh my god. And then I can do like inventory and then go into custom data after it's uh, set up. 
<laughs> and go say ingot. And it'll show me all my ingots. Yes? Please? It's not liking me. Okay, over here. Maybe I uh, went too quickly into custom data and screwed it up. Because the other one had something else in there in custom data. I'll wait till it writes on it. There we go. And then in custom data, yeah, it had this. Whatever that is. So, component. And there's all my components in here. In custom data, I'll add that line in. And there we go, ingot. Awesome. So I can set this up better and make it look cooler. And then when we want to, we can just come on down here, sit down, and we have a list of everything in the base if we want to. Yes. But now, oh my god, cargo. Cargo has been taken care of. Let me just uh, plot my ass in a seat here. Get into the spectator camera again. This giant quantity of cargo containers will be able to store every one of our hopes and dreams. As with this massive quantity of storage and the fact that my refineries are chugging away, my assemblers are all nice and built, we have our industry functional in this base to a level where we can start to really build some stuff. We also have our power systems taken care of. The only thing that we need left, and of course we have like the battery banks, we have tons of stored power. We just need to build a better version of this with some retractability and the ability to do some oxygen farming on that. And maybe, oh, gas storage maybe expand the storage a little bit and add some gas storage to it you know that kind of thing so a few more infrastructure things in the base but realistically we've got a lot of materials here and we got a lot of capacity to build stuff now and what i want to build next is i'd like to build a giant mining ship because this prospector, while very functional, is not the best thing. Uh, you can see here I've actually outfitted it with several more interior turrets because as I was going out to go get like platinum and stuff like that from nearby asteroids, I was being harassed by drones. So there's an enemy base out there I need to harass and kill. I need a larger, more kick-ass uh, mining ship that is capable of defending itself and also capable of flying down to the planet's surface as there is tons of resources down here that I would love to slurp on up. As you can see, like, ooh, there is some, where would be some ore patches? Give me your patches of ore. No, oh, like, I think that's a, is that ore patch? Maybe it is, maybe it's my, my mind playing tricks on me. There's one, there's an ore patch. I want to go and slurp up your goodies, whatever is in there, and take them back to the asteroid base, which I'm now probably going to lose. Oh no, wait, it's right here. Wow, that was really lucky me to find that immediately. So I have plans for that, but that will be soon. But for now, we have inventory. We have cool little things that tell me how full my cargo containers are, and also we've got some LCD readouts showing what we have and uh, which resources that we need uh, desperately. Uh, mainly uranium, platinum, magnesium, and some, well, actually pretty good on gold. You get 21,000 of it. Although well, that will disappear very quickly if we make more jump drives. But that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. And good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.